Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. Real Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. Learn what your gift is and give it. It's a gift, but it's been given to you to give. All of the tr trials and tribulations we went through actually brought us to here to say we need our own space to do what it is that we do and everything that we do included the arts. Real Talk Session Series, the revolution will be digitized. Real Talk Session Series, the revolution Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, back to another episode of the Real Talk Session Series. series. I'm your host, Taryn Morgan, and today we're at a very special spot, Central Jersey, one that is accommodated to black people, accepts black people, owned by black people, and a business that we need to support above our studio. What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? I appreciate you having me. Yeah, so can you real quick introduce yourselves and you know tell people about your business and how you started? All right, well, my name is Donna K. News. I am art director here above Art Studios, also author of Tripping Over Canvases, How to Open Your Own Art Gallery with No Experience. Go get that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am Wilfred Charles, um, the orchestrator of the gallery and actually the owner of Beyond the Art magazine. All right, so, so one of the things that really stood out to me is that it's an art gallery, and I'm not going to lie, whenever I think about art gallery, I think about white people, tuxedos and all that stuff and whatnot, but this is something totally different. It's all my black people. So can you let us know what the journey was like to get to the point of starting Above Art Studio? To, to getting to this point was, I guess, a lifetime. Um, Slumdog Millionaire uh, points it out the best because he went through so much stuff in his life before he got to the millions. So he had to suffer through a lot of different things. So um, funny thing is this man grew up uh, DJing and throwing events and I kind of joined in. I was the, kind of like the dancer and all this stuff. Parties and party started. We gotta have that balance. Yeah, so we started doing events and we, 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 we all both did our own thing and got separated and came back together and started doing music and everything. and. All of the tr trials and tribulations we went through actually brought us to here to say we need our own space to do what it is that we do and everything that we do included the arts. And we had one more person who was actually an artist that was painting and everything and we um, you know, decided to open up this space. Um, he backed out last minute, so it ended up just being us two. And that's how we literally got here. It was like to those trials and tribulations, getting uh, separating, getting back together, and then uh, actually coming back together at the end, using all the skills and all the things that we learned from those things that we've done in our past and creating this space. Okay. As far as it being uh, an art gallery, the art essentially chose us. Yeah. Um, we were looking to fill in the niche of, we were throwing events and everywhere we went we were being used and abused, you know, they want our people to come in, yeah. you know, support the place, of having to have a bar course, you know, they want all types of guarantees, they want you to make them thousands of dollars at the bar, but they still have the, the freedom, you know, to kick you out whenever they want, to tell you you can't have a certain thing to raise the prices when it's your night. Yeah. Any other night is, you know, lower prices for the gouging. Um, we didn't have any type of control over that situation. Like, where could you go? And the space was owned by us. Yeah. So he filled in that niche. See, and I think that's important too in these day, day and age because you got everyone preaching about ownership. You know, you know, back, back in the day, you look at hip hop, they, they were they were on that. They were talking about that fast money, money the, those advances, whatnot. They were, they were thinking, thinking about the long term of owning something, building a legacy. So I salute you, gentlemen, definitely, because it's something needed and you never know who's watching you, who you're inspired for the next generation. So the name Above Arts in general, that's pretty much um, like where did that come from? Um, I guess it was, came from uh, divinity. You know, it came out of the sky. Uh, we wanted a name that would, of course, be catchy for marketing, yeah. but would encompass everything we do because we're not focusing on one specific form of art. Okay. You know, um, so we had to have arts plural, uh, and like we having, you know, the spinoff with the magazines and art information, like. This is all encompassing of the art world. So it's not even just here, like when you think about art, you know, just the white people, yeah. you know, just no, this is everything. Art is like, mm -hmm. you know, art is the earth, you know, the earth without art is earth. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, the above part is basically saying that we're taking it to another level. That's why the logo has the bird carrying the palette to another level. Okay. So, you know, you know, as human beings, we exp inspire to, you know, go to heaven or whatever it might be, ascend. Yeah. And that's what we were doing. We were ascending the art. Okay. Now, now how long has the gallery been open? Uh, we're coming up on our three year anniversary. Yes, sir. Right. So, so y'all are generally new, new into, into the art world or whatnot. And, and of course, of course you, you're, you're probably going to deal with some, some stuff, stuff being in the art world because, because you're black, black man. Absolutely. So, so what are some of the experiences that you dealt, dealt with so far being within um, the art world? Because, because this is a brand new to, to people, you know? know? Right. Um, shoot. <laughs> Where do we start? Well, first part I feel um, that we dealt with. Um, just opening up or just getting the keys was the racism, colorism, or whatever isms that you can add to it. Um, being in a place where um, the building, the original owners of the building, uh, changed the keys on us and we were coming here to build and paint and do what we needed to do. And when we went to the office to say, hey, you guys changed the locks on this, the key's not working. And it's like, oh yeah, we changed the lock. So okay, can I get a copy of my key? They didn't want to give us a copy of the key. And they were like, yeah. And they were like, oh, you're the owners. <laughs> they were like, oh, you're the owners. Like it, it, it really was a real surprise. And um, you know, we got that for a long time from our own people too. Like, oh, this is, it's not a hole in a wall. It's this, it's, it's actually nice here. So we we had those trials and tribulations, um, getting to know what it is that the regular folk do, you know, the, 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 the galleries, the original gallery format, because we kind of destroyed it. We didn't, we don't abide by those rules. <laughs> more, more so like learning as you go. More learning as you go, but at the same time, you know, we looked at their playbook and it was like, this is corny. Yeah. You know, um, you know the, what's crazy about it is you look at sports when the teams that didn't have the best players won those championships is when, when they tried something new, tried something different. That's why you had the uh, Miami Hurricanes come out of nowhere and win a championship and you had these other teams, uh, you got movies about Moneyball and all these different things that made it to the championship. It's because they didn't play by those rules. They saw what the rules were and they said, listen, we're gonna throw that away. Um, and that's one of the important things too, like, my, my, one one of my, my second master's, master's, probably the big thing I learned was, was three words. words. Culture, mm -hmm. Trump strategy. strategy. You, can't you can't fight 2019 diseases with 1970s technology, technology or not, or whatnot. <laughs> Just because you have a set playbook, oh, this is how it's been, that doesn't mean you will succeed. That's why you have like stores like Amazon on the top, Kmart at the bottom. Your right. store is closed, so you know, so, you know that's important that you guys notice that and y'all move to just and uh, acclimate it accordingly, you know, and create your own thing. Well, you, you have to have adaptation, but there's usually a reason why things were the way they were. Yeah. Uh, you study, you know, research that reason, and if it still holds valid, yeah. it's not something we just do this because this is just the way we've always done it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rhyme or reason behind it, you throw that out the way, but if there was a reason at some point, it might still be a reason, and it might still serve some purpose. So you adapt, but you hold to tradition as well, too. So yeah, we're right. not, you know, totally doing everything digital. We come from being kids, throwing parties. Everything wasn't digital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, we didn't hit dirt, so we were uh -huh. fire age. You know, we yeah, had yeah, fire yeah. We had the word of mouth still. Yeah. We still do that with right. other businesses, period, let alone galleries, but this place are not doing that. It's all, you know, we can just do all this and just all this pay into this marketing advertising, but you still have to connect and yeah, those physical things allow you to do that, which is why we build, you know, bonds fast, which is why we're building bridges and, you know, connecting things and why we're growing as exponentially as we are, because we value that tradition and we're holding on to that because we've seen that work, but we also know what's going on now and what the um, clientele we're trying to reach is also, you know, on digital. Uh, so we're we're putting everything together and that's how we, we make it happen. And that's the thing, black, black people, people push the culture, culture, you know, and that's what you're doing, doing definitely. definitely. So, so like, like, talk to people, people about like, some of the stuff you all do here at the gallery, gallery and, and, you know, watch it come out. Um, well, 
we do a little bit of everything here. Uh, we host events. People rent space out for events. Uh, as far as any of our home-based stuff, we do, you know, black wine tastings where we're showcasing black wine makers and you know, wineries. Um, we're doing live painting, uh, spoken word. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing networking events. We're doing healing events. Yeah. Uh, yes. You know, we have Men's mental event. health, uh, physical fitness. We have yoga coming through here. Absolutely. Um, we, we do a lot to provide those alternative means of entertainment because, again, you know, once you hit a certain age, once you get your first grade, you're like, all right, yeah. kind of tired of clubbing all the time. You might need to be good. You know, the hand is the food chain, you know. So it's like, where can we still yeah. have a good time? Where can we still have, you know, new experience, do something fun, meet some new people, and a safe, you know, place where everybody can come and just unwind and be themselves. So we create that. So because we can always have that, we're always going to have, you know, something here. I, th I think we, I think we infuse um, the art, the culture, and entertainment uh, along with the education. So we, yeah, we do trap and paint, and we do theme paint and sips. It's like that yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do theme paint and sips. So we done, we done Marvin Gaye, but we also are doing a Tupac. Yeah, yeah. We've done a Biggie, but we also did a Aretha Franklin. Yeah, I get a Jimmy Hendrix, that's the only thing. I mean, I'll, I'll be here for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we actually got that in the works also. Uh, so, you know, we've done all those things, and at the same time, we've entertained them, but we educated them on, you know, these art pieces or what, you know, all the things that we're doing here. And, you know, even healing their souls and, and, and their, their bodies by having, uh, you know, vegan foods here. Yeah. People had their first vegan dish here. That's what's right. Rather than a restaurant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Authentic experience to think back. I was here at Above Our Studio. Absolutely. Yoga, same thing. You know, first time doing yoga, yoga, a lot of people, first time was here. Yeah. And, and that's, that's definitely that's something, something like that. that. I had that similar experience when I came here a couple times. I'm like, what's this something new? I'm like, oh, I like this. I like this. You know, it's one of those things where push yourself out of your comfort zone and try something new. And I think that this provides a perfect opportunity for, you know, black people to come out and try something new and be in a safe environment and be some dope people, you know? So, what are you trying to accomplish with the art gallery and, like, what do you see it going in five years? Uh, well, I definitely see us expanding. Um, our brand, mm -hmm. uh, whether we name it the same, we are going to open up another art, another art gallery, um, you know, in a different market, just to be able to give the same experience um, to all the locals, the same opportunities to all artists, because a lot of them have part time getting gallery representation, getting their work sold, uh, you know, getting that support to be able to keep going and giving their gift to the world. Like everybody got bills to pay, so figuring that out. Um, so we're definitely looking to expand and be able to do that. And you know, also of course our own you know, personal brands. We've both grown a lot, and this has been instrumental in it. Um, but guys, you know, it's a minimum. Yeah, and that's a great segue too. So, I mean, so I want to kind of get into what y'all got individually because. People see entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, but they, they don't, don't see, see the, the big, big picture of other things, things that add to it. You know, sometimes it might be in the same lane, sometimes it might be in acclimated lanes, lanes, but it still contributes to the big dream. dream. So, so talk me about your book and, and everything, everything that you know. know. Okay, so the book is called Tripping Over Canvases, okay. How to Open Your Own Art Gallery Without Experience. I can definitely tell you that because I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, definitely done it. Uh, we are successful in, you know, we're, we're making strides. A lot of things are coming together for us to, to make uh, bigger strides as well, too. So I wanted to write the book um, for our business side. Mm -hmm. So with the book, uh, I wanted to be able to help other people uh, who were in a position that I was in at one point in time. Okay. I learned a lot of things the hard way, yeah. and it could have been a little smoother, so I'm trying to, you know, have a, the road be a little less bumpy for those that come behind me. I believe in paving the way, even though I didn't have anybody to do it, you know, for me. I didn't have anyone, you know, to do it. Jay-Z said that. Hopefully you ain't got to go through that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just, just providing the the resources um, and the steps 
the action plan of how to get from A to B. Yeah. You know, all right, you know you have this talent, okay, what do you do with it now? You know, uh, how do you help other people with it? Yeah. Um, so I wanted to put that information in the book and just really let people know I know what I'm talking about, I help establish myself as an authority in the field uh, so I can get even more opportunities to, to help people. So I've been doing a lot of speaking engagements, uh, particularly with, you know, like, yeah. Um, I found some of my artists don't know the business side at all. You can definitely use the money manager. Most creators just want to create. That's you know what they're here for. They don't want to deal with you know this that, and that. And but they don't realize the part of it. But they need it. And they know you got to realize that by yourself. You need more. You know you need to be able to recreate. So uh, you have to again have, have that balance. So I'm, I'm coming in as that that uh, liaison. Okay. And that's what's up. That's what's needed too. You know? yeah, How about you, bro? Um, man, the art magazine. So beyond the art magazine, it is really, it's really a, a extra step or extension of the gallery itself, also, and the extra um, push and controlling the narrative because the artists that we have are great artists, and artists that are out there are great artists, and. We don't know their story. We don't know how they came about with what they're doing, why they're painting, what they're painting. And I don't only cover um, visual art, but I'll also cover culinary art, I cover music, I cover poetry. Just give you your palate a taste. So it's above in the physical location and it's beyond in the um, written form. And, and that's what we're trying to take it to, beyond, you know. And. Um, Outside of that, music is my passion too. So okay. I produce music, I DJ, um, rap. So I have all those things in the work. But it's everything that I do right now aligns with the art. So I, I do have the music. I do have the documentary coming soon. I do have a plethora of other things, but I'm kind of just trying to stick to the main thing, which is pushing the art movement forward. Yeah. Okay, let's go so definitely. definitely. And, and one, one thing, thing I like, I like to, to have my, my guests, guests do as soon as we wrap up, up is, is leave a message to society. society. It can be anything, anything you feel, anything, anything that's on your heart, heart, anything, anything you need to let out. out. So, so what, what is your is message, message to society? society? My message would be learn what your gift is and give it. It's a gift, but it's been given to you to give. So if you're not giving that gift, then you're essentially stealing from the world because you're here at this specific time because the world needs what it is you have and if you're not providing it for them you're doing a disservice to yourself and everyone else uh, i would say you have one life to live live it to the fullest don't let someone tell you that you're inexperienced, that you can't do this. The president, <laughs> current president, doesn't have an experience. There's so many people that don't have any experience. I never wrote an article. I didn't go to school for journalism. And I don't have a associate's degree, yeah. let alone bachelor's. But I have a whole magazine. I have a whole gallery, you know. So the things that I'm doing is I'm pushing for the narrative of you have to do this before you do this. No, you just have to do what it is that you're passionate about and have those good intentions. And I definitely I agree, agree, you know, and I appreciate, appreciate you, brothers. brothers. They, they were one of the people who told me not, not to say try, try but to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate it, you know. It's, it's important to have people around you that believe in manifestation and the power of yourself, yourself you know, so, so appreciate it. it. So, so can you tell people how to reach out to you individually and also how they can reach above our studios, please? Yes, definitely. Uh, well, first and foremost, follow the gallery everywhere uh, at Above Art Studios, all platforms. Make sure you go on the website, www.aboveartstudios.com. Make sure you download and subscribe to the Beyond Art magazine so you can get the issues as they come out right on top. You don't have to worry about that. We'll send them to you. And make sure uh, you go to Amazon and it'll also be on our website as well, too, aboveartstudios.com, and you download uh, the new book, Tripping Over Canvases, How to Open Your Own Art Gallery with No Private Experience. Almost forgot. Tune in as well to our new Art Life podcast. That's our art and business podcast coming up. Okay, that's what's up. And make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and review all that stuff too. too. Gotta make a pro, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, it's, it's the gallery information. Then we have um, beyondtheartmagazine.com. Um, 
the IG and the uh, Facebook of all of that beyond the art magazine. That'll be on the end of the video too. <laughs> DJ Kiss Me I'm Famous at Gmail for the DJ services and uh, of course online DJ Kiss Me I'm Famous and 16 bars X V I B A R Z for the music production and, and all that. Okay. Well, well I appreciate y'all fellas. fellas. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and fellas, fellas, I gotta talk to you real quick. quick. They got bad yeah. women at these events. Get, events. get out of here. here. Like, yes. experience, <laughs> try something new, get out the hood, get out your town, town, get cultured. Cool. All right. We serve wine too. Like, like serve we serve drink. We serve drinks. Music, food, all that stuff. We got music, food. Yeah, we yeah. get yeah. a little ratchet in the gallery. Like, <laughs> so, but thank you for tuning into another episode of the Real Talk Session Series. The revolution will be digitized. Real Talk Session Series. The revolution will be digitized. Real Talk Session Series. The revolution will be digitized. It's Pete Simple. The revolution will be digitized.